and we are here with and Jen. But don't get I mad. Don't, oh God. Magic. Look at that. Look at he looked at look. I made him laugh. Yes. I made Peter because Marietta so, laugh. No, it's, it's not because it's high <laughs> brow. Because okay. it's so ridiculous. Uh, uh, a it is. Where did you buy one. this? I don't know where yes. I got it. I have a bunch of. You look, know, I Disney have, didn't send it to him. You know, he went into like a it. Toys R Us and bought it. Oh, look at that. Did you take that menu? Of course. Yeah, David Delaware steals. What are you gonna yeah. do? I would have. That's that. There's. I would have. Let me take anything. You know. They well, were saying no. You can't of course not. Because it's all gone. Go, right? Gotta go and into Mickey's stole basement. Stuff. You know? Yeah. Listen, I I want to just take a second. Yes. And tell everybody the reason why Wizards of Waverly Place was a great show was because of you. Aww. And you were all over it. You you championed this show. You you ran this show. Uh, a, a technical term, a showrunner, is someone who's in charge of everything. <laughs> they run the show. This is also David's masterclass on right? the business. Yeah, I know, that's good. And, uh, and um, uh, I really I, appreciate you saying that. Yeah, it's we, the we've truth. We've talked about that multiple times, about how you really fought to keep us like a creative team and yeah. fought the battles to keep everyone out as yeah. much as we could. Yeah, I and, was talking to, um, you know, th thank you to for Gigi. our job. Um, Who is Gigi? Gigi's great. Yeah. I was talking to her about a month ago. Gigi was because one of the of what, writers because producers. of what you just said, and she said that um, it was a very nice thing she said. She said, "I think about that time," and she's gone on and made her own shows. Yeah, and she said, and I'm like, I don't know that I would have had the stamina to um, fight as long as you did. Yeah, when I look back on that time, I'm like, it was oh a my lot gosh. Of fighting. You know, she's like, I don't know that I would have been able to do it, but I'm so glad you did. Yeah. No, it's so true. Cause like, and she's right. Cause the thing is, is like, it was Disney came in and had their idea about something. Cause what those of you at home don't know, I'm sorry, David, you know, it's cause I love you. <laughs> no, it, it is a lot of times with other shows. Cause I mean, you've worked on so many yeah. different shows yeah. other than Wizards is the network will come in, but a lot of times they let you do your thing. For right? sure, for sure. Most of the time. Disney was very involved. Very hands on. And they very, very note you to death. No, right? you to very death to the point where it was, they took all the humor out of it. They took the, the what was special out yeah. of it and you fought yeah. to keep the special yeah. in. Yeah. And that was, you know, Would we you... missed you when you weren't there for sure. Well, that's what I thought we were doing today. Uh, the the fourth season over again? Yeah, I've not, <laughs> I haven't. I, haven't, I wish, Jesus. I haven't seen one minute don't worry about of it. Of the fourth season. And I thought today would be a great time for the two of you to catch me up. <laughs> we Just let's run through we, all we the We're only on the first season. I, Give us some time. I must have and told we'll you, you this, back. but in the fourth season, Victor, who was our yeah, director, yeah. would say, hey, you know what would be funny? And I would go, last season? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Going Sorry, back. Backwards. Back, yes. back to, to yes. when it was good. Um what was how how did you get involved in the oh, show? Yeah. I know we know this sure, somewhat, sure, but like sure. for the for the folks so at I, home. So I I um I had a meeting, a uh, 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 like a year before I got involved in the show, mm -hmm. and they um they my agent set it up, and I met some Disney Channel executives, and they were interested in developing with me, hmm. figuring out something to do with me. Meaning that means uh, making a television show together. Making a television show together. <laughs> yeah, so they yes, have David Google Henry. in all of I their know. hands. <laughs> but we, we and, have Google uh, right here, so it's fine. And so they um, they were interested, and they had given me like um, a video cassette. Go ahead, tell them what it is. A uh, video cassette is something that people used to watch uh, shows on. And an and, eight and an eight track. Uh huh. And uh, it was of a spinoff that they had tried to do. With Lizzie McGuire uh, called Stevie or something, mm -hmm. something like yeah, that. Yeah, where it was like Miranda's. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it starred a young Selena Lady. Gomez. Mm -hmm. And I watched the tape and I was like, oh, that's interesting. But I wasn't quite sure I wanted to do a kid's show. I'd never done one before. Uh, and I wasn't sure I wanted to. And so I thanked everybody and went on my merry way. And then about a year later, um, they sent me this pilot called The Amazing O'Malley's. It was about a family, an Irish family that owned a magic shop. And uh, they wanted to know if I wanted to get involved in it. And I had just come back from New York where I was working on a show. And I had sort of come back later and missed hiring season for the usual network comedy hiring yeah. season. And so I took the meeting and um, I met the writer of that script. Todd and I met um, Jeff Brustrom and um, Adam Bonnet mm -hmm. and we chatted about the script and I said 
um, you know, I was interested perhaps, but I wanted to maybe make it more like my family, which was a biracial family. Mm -hmm. um, the show I had just done a few years before that was Greetings from Tucson. It was about a biracial which you family. created. Which I yeah. made. And then, um, so I was like, I want to do that. And I'm not quite a hundred percent sure about the magic shop because it felt to me kind of off that kids, if it's a kid's show, like trying to explain the difference between magic tricks and magic just yeah. felt like it would take a while. It's a little esoteric. So we shot a pilot, had the magic shop in it, and um, it had a different dad. And, and, and Jake wasn't in it. And Jake, Jake wasn't, wasn't in it. Max didn't exist. And, um, and, and so anyway, we, we started casting the pilot. And and um, uh, uh, I remembered Selena, and she uh, came in and read for it after bunches of um, like I wouldn't say like there were some stresses around it because they were doing another pilot, and Disney Channel does a couple pilots a year, mm -hmm. and she had been promised to this other pilot. But I had seen this tape, and I was like, I think she's really good. Mm -hmm. And they um, they said, Oh well, she's promised to this other pilot. And I was like, well, but we've been greenlit. We're casting. Has this other pilot been greenlit or are they casting it? Well, no, no, no. It's not been officially greenlit. And I was like, well, then let's bring her in. And so we sort of kicked the ball down the road. And eventually it ended up in the office, the corner office of the president of the network, where I kind of went in and said, hey, what if what if she was in both? Because you're only going to you're going to make two and then you're going to pick up one. Yeah. So it seems like a real good way to just bet on the concept. Right. And so and they knew from the year before that they wanted her for yeah, something. For something. So yeah. So they agreed to do that. And then um we shot our pilot first. I remember like some gamesmanship. Like I remember one day somebody called me from set that like someone had got grabbed Selena to go get her in a wardrobe uh, fittings yeah. for the other pilot that was gonna happen. And it kind of messed up our rehearsal afternoon. It just was an interesting world to dive into because yeah. I'd never been in that world before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never worked with kids, um, uh, and uh, and I never worked around a, a company with like that. With animals. Yeah, yeah, with <laughs> animals. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So it was a very interesting world to step into. Um, but uh, but I'm really happy that that we fought to get Selena in that sure. pilot. I can't imagine you know? anyone else's Alex. And, so. um, and I think that was the start of the, the trying to make that show super specific and super bent and like very um dysfunctional and alex um, always seemed like a mini you for sure okay yeah. that's how we like, looked at it in the writer's room yeah, yeah. i was for like sure. she always seemed would peter say this yeah <laughs> i remember do you remember this back in your like police cruiser yeah we went to, we went to like because i was like i had a really big like punk rock phase yes. during the show yes and i i remember vaguely you and i going to get like punk rock records yes. or something yes We're and i Amiga? loved that afternoon yes yeah, it, it was, was a so, great afternoon and we listened to, it was how I, you showed me about the damned like we yes, listened to the damned yes. uh, like yes. yeah in the car that was so and, much fun i yeah, remember that day so fun. i remember it was that such day such a good day and and, and day. like uh yeah a for anarchy i remember that it and my friend so pete good. holney was in that Pete Holney he? played like I think the artist, the uh, the oh, adult that, oh, artist. Oh, that's right. Mm. That's right. He was an improviser I knew, just like Bill Cobb. Yeah. And um, right, they were in an underground train station. I was think that, like I think I had just this, literally I think I had just bought like a piece of art from a graffiti artist. Yeah. And I was talking to Ben like, what do we want to do next? And I was like, let's do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? I know I brought this up to you before, but I remember Disney threw the biggest fit over the meat throwing band. Oh right, which was they, based which, on Guar. Right. But why they why that was the thing? Kids love meat, and they love throwing, and they things. like throwing things. I don't so know what the perfect. big deal is, but I don't know why. <laughs> I yeah, don't they know. love. I remember them like you had to fight so hard. We would do so many strange, cool to us things. Yeah. Um, that were really fun. Would you add crazy things yes. so that you could keep? You'd oh, add no, crazy no. No, ten no, no, things no, 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 and then no, no. they no, cut no, no, out no, a couple. No, no, no. I know people that do that. Yeah. No, we didn't do that. I, I had a really good relationship with um, the the censor with Denise mm -hmm. because I told her at the very beginning, like, we're not going to play these cutesy games, and I'm not going to do that, and yeah. you just let me know what I can and can't do, and we'll sure. have that conversation. I really liked her. Um, what? qualified her as the censor person i guess she'd been there she'd been doing it for a while yeah. i don't know what an interesting job but it's an interesting job right and i didn't want her i had so many battles to fight yeah that i didn't want to add her to it yeah and she was there every day so i was like well we should just make I friends with her she yeah. was like 
Yeah. No, no, well, no, no. Well, that's a very Godfather just, thing. Just like right? looking right? at like, it shaking is. your head about like, we can't do that. I know. And it was fine. You know, I, 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 I loved um, talking to her about stuff. You know, I think we talked when we had dinner last about um, getting the Dean Moriarty name into that episode yeah. in the first mm -hmm. season and how it was, you know, from uh, Jack Kerouac's novel. And, um, and then you talked about the meat band. And I was just going to say something else that was like, oh, we had punk rock legend john doe on the wizards of waverly place yeah. like nobody knew yeah. when it was yeah. happening there was a lot of stuff that was a, a, appealing not just to you but to the the, the people that were inside the know you yeah know what i mean and yeah. then there was the and kids then there was show. the kids show and yeah. the kids yeah. show worked too there were yeah. a lot of layers which was really you know? nice and, and i love the inside jokes too like yeah. just going back and rewatching the episode seeing the inside jokes with the spells or just yep. like with even with yep. certain like I didn't know that didn't Edge know, Bono Edge, you two says oh, yes. Edge Bono and you two. How? Oh, I how told did him, you not know that? I told him, that's I said, great. No, that's great. I, didn't I said, know. how did the 14 year old get that reference? But she right. Didn't. That's I don't so understand. great. One of my favorite weird ones, I don't even remember if it made it in the edit, but I do remember there being a conversation about a book report on Tom Sawyer and Alex Russo yeah. saying, like, wait a minute. Somebody wrote a book based on that Rush song. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and it was very amusing. To there watch. was a lot of. I mean, my 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 dad raised me on. I, I hate to even call it classic rock, but there's nothing else to call Prog it now. Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Prog rock, yeah, sure. But he raised me on that. So anytime you guys made references like that, yeah. I was just in heaven. But we enjoyed it. I mean, and I loved having John Doe on. That was a dream come true. Oh, I'm we sure. had so many, we had so many guest, stars guest stars that were so amazing, and everybody's kids wanted to be there. Like Larry David came, and I. It, the, you know, I don't take pictures with a lot of people or ask, but I asked Larry David, I said, you know, his kids took a picture with me. Right. And then I said to him, can I take a picture with you? And, and he, he went, said no. No, he didn't say no. He didn't say no. He went. He didn't want to. Though. He went like this. And then he, he, just, he just stood there and took a picture with me. And also, hey, it, you know, that's also just how Larry David breathes. So right, right, know, right, but, right, right, right. You just reminded me of uh, a favorite I, memory. Rob Reiner. Yeah, I'm going to tell the story. I know. So, yeah, go, tell us. We're working, we're doing the show, it's tape night, and um, somebody came up to me, it was probably Guy, right? Probably Guy. Yeah. First guy AD. dissed that or first AD? First AD. Yeah. And says, Rob Reiner's here. And I'm, I'm trying to do the cal calculation because I'm like, Rob Reiner is older than me, and does he have kids or does he have grandkids? I was mm -hmm. trying to think about that. Yeah. And my parents happened to be there that night too. Did they really? Yeah, they I love your parents. parents were there. My parents I, I've were heard both there. Deluise's version of the story. Yeah. So, I'm so my parents were both there. So I don't know if he was a guest of yours or not, but he was there. And um, and I I and a, just side note, the reason I bring up that my parents were there is my parents. The first time I was even aware that there was this kind of job that I have. Yeah. Was my parents came to California on a trip, and got tickets and went to see All in the Family. Oh wow! At the CBS Television that. City, the CBS on um, in Hollywood. Yeah. And um, so I was like, "Oh my God, they're here, and he's here. This is pretty cool." And so I walked over to David and I said, "Hey, do we want to go ask Rob Reiner to be in the tag of the show?" And I went, "Oh fuck, I gotta <laughs> talk to him." <laughs> right? Yes, and I and I and we both went. You you said some version of like, "I'll go, but you have to come with me," because oh, yeah. I remember like. Standing on the railing, yeah, as he, he was in, and in he the was front sitting row. there, and you yeah. started talking, and then he was like, "Well, what would it be?" And I said, "Well, we have this pro fake PSA we wrote." Right. There's another thing that we did sometimes, right. a fake PSA we wrote, where Alex Russo is telling people because there's an entire episode where she refused to read, yeah. right? And uh, what a great episode that was! <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of stuff I love doing. Yeah, and um, and we did a PSA at the end where she's like, "Hi, I'm." Selena Gomez, I play Alex Russo, and we had a lot of fun tonight about reading, and, but reading is super cool. Yeah. And, and the whole time she was doing it, we asked for a couple of things. We asked for a tea set that we would never have anyone on our show use, because she was just pouring tea when it started. That's the best. And yeah. um, we talked to Rob, and my memory is Rob kind of listened to us talk, and then kind of looked like he was going to do it, and then he asked us, can I do a spit take? Ah. Genius. And yeah. we said, yeah, sure. Okay, good. So he came down on the set, and we hastily ga gathered the writers, and we were like, okay. So she did her thing, and she said, you know, we had a lot of fun with reading, and reading is really important, and it can really help your life out. And then we panned over to the refrigerator. He had a carton of milk, and he did a spit take, and he said, yes, 
For instance, if I could read this expiration date, I would have known this was spoiled. <laughs> yeah. And then she started the whole thing over again with the first cue card and then realized she had done the whole cue cards. Yeah. And then in a very Alex Russo way, just was like, nah, I'm done with this. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and that was our... And but that was, was planned, the, the yeah. cue card thing. The cue card thing was, was planned. planned. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But the Rob thing was oh. not. It was great. And that was amazing. So yeah. Good. And then my mom took a picture with him. Amazing. See, I, that was I really didn't, cool. I didn't realize like from the taping of All in the Family that you, that's, yeah, that's a crazy. really cool, yeah. crazy? cool circle. Yeah. This is part of what I love about this. Yeah, it was really fun different night. Different people's perspective of the same experience. And was he your guest? I don't remember, but I okay. will say that I was with his father a few months before he passed, Carl sure. Reiner, and I was with Mel and Carl, uh, Mel Brooks sure. and Carl Reiner used to get together every night and watch old movies and Jeopardy yeah, yeah, and Wheel yeah. of Fortune, and they yeah. would just sit in the thing, yeah. and my oldest daughter became friends with Livia, who's uh, um, uh, uh, Lucas Reiner's uh, daughter, and, and she said to me, my grandfather's all alone all the time. And I was like, I'll go over there and have some fun. So b oh, before uh, uh, Carl passed away, nice. about three months, we had a whole visit that night. That's great. And I'm like, hey, so who started the 2000 year old man? Yeah. Mel and Carl spoke at the same time the whole time. You'd have to like choose oh, sure, who sure, to sure, listen sure, to. Sure. You know, they were like a sure. married couple, you know. Now Mel Brooks, so finish your story. Yeah, no, 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 so just real quick, Carl said, I asked Mel this question. Like, you, you dated Cleopatra, sure. right? And Mel's like, I didn't know what the fuck to say. So I just said, I don't want to talk about it, which was hysterical. So great. And that's how it started. That's great. And then just comedy that's great. Just, Oh my God. What, so what Mel Brooks, uh, my very first office ever in Hollywood. Was it Culver? Was it Culver and it was next to his. <sighs> and, but it was only next to his for this reason. I was on a, I was a staff writer on a show. Um, I, my deal closed and then the six episode order of the shows like a two days after my deal closed got cut to just the pilot but they had to pay me mm. so I showed up for work uh, and there's no work because I already wrote the pilot yeah. and they had to put me in an office and again so long ago this is 96 or 7 um, that, that I had a Mac power book <laughs> and when I showed up the IT guy was like oh, we got to take him over to this to the mansion or whatever <laughs> like it's the only place that has printers for max yeah and so they set me up and i went to the restaurant when i walk by and i look in and it's like is that mel brooks's office and it was and he was there and it was like pre like the resurgence of mel brooks like yeah. the you know so he was there and i would print things to the printer in his office just to go over there, <laughs> and, I was so print it, and then he was like, "What's going on, kid?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm working on this new show." And and he would always like, "How's it going today?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's great." He's and it was best. like ten weeks of that. Oh my yeah. god! And then I told That's him so that special. story when I was on the Fox lot, and they yeah. were putting a mural up of Young Frankenstein. Oh yeah, it's huge! And right? I went to the ceremony. I was walking by one day, doing my laps around the studio, and I saw, them, and I'd been watching him paint it. And I saw him there, and I was with another writer, and I was like, I'm going to go see if he remembers me. <laughs> so did I walked he? over, and he did. He goes, oh. ah. he goes, you were that guy that was next door. And he used to talk about it. He was like, your first job. And I was like, yeah, it was my first and job. And you abused the shit um, out of my And partner. he goes, and you're, you're still doing it. And I was like, yeah, I'm still doing it. Amazing. It's pretty cool. That's really, yeah. that's a great story. You know, Mel and Anne are my godparents. Yes, yes. Mel is, is, is doing well. Yeah. He's, you know. How old is he now? Ninety. Something. God bless yeah, him. crazy. God bless he's him. He's doing so, History of the World Part Two. I know. I saw yeah. it. You know, it's out now. Or no, no, no. I mean, I saw it. Oh, he's, he's, doing, doing, he's it. doing it. So yeah. I, I remember that night, and I've not even remembered it until tonight. That's so funny. That's really cool. That's really Mel. Cool. Uh, That's a great story. Came over one time. We were watching Young Frankenstein. Okay. We had to go out you to dinner say with it was my wizards, parents. Though, the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, wizards we were watching podcast, Wizards, so. right? Yeah. But I, I, uh, I said we were just watching uh, Young Frankenstein. He goes, it was all downhill after that. <laughs> Can I you imagine? That. I Can love you imagine? that. I yeah. love it. Uh, it's so funny. Okay, I have a random question. But yeah, when please. I came in to audition for the Amazing O'Malley's, yes, I'm dyslexic. And I was there, and I read. I, I my there. line I said uh, uh, what I thought it said was caps, and I said you got to look at these amazing uh, magical caps. But it was capes. Yep. Do you remember that? Do you yeah. think like what the fuck? Why is he? No, saying, because I already I, liked you. I already wanted you. So it didn't matter if I, I fucked didn't up. Care. <laughs> so you could have walked in there and got shit on the floor. I already that. wanted well, you. Well, we had worked together. We did on, on Jesse, the Christina Applegate yes. show, uh, yes. uh, for uh, 
a year, a year. we worked together. I had to yeah. work on it for two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they got rid of you the got family. They easy. got rid of John Lear, they got me, rid of and George Sunza. And, they got rid and, of every writer except for me and one other writer. And we were not in charge, by the way, of the people they kept. Interesting. Who knows what happened? Yeah. It was not great. Yeah. That's yeah. so interesting. This friend of mine, Dan, who was the writer they kept, came over in the second season of my office one early, early morning. And we were story editors. We were low level writers, whole new top writers, new staff writers. And he says, Hey, he goes, Because we're here for the second season. He goes, Between us, we've written one fifth of all the Jesse episodes. And he goes, <laughs> It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> Really good, not good for the world. And that, but what was it? Bright Kaufman Crane, who who sure. produced Friends, were yep. the were the you they know. were the kings of the world for a while. Yeah, they had yeah. three shows on. What, what were they like to work with? Were they were they um, nice? I mean, they were fine. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I think be, Marta and David came by pretty regularly, but I don't remember thinking that they knew who I was. Yeah. Wow. But then when they fired everybody and kept me, I was like, I guess maybe they remember maybe, me. Maybe, yeah. they, maybe they have an idea. <laughs> yeah. I remember the call. They didn't pick up my option for the second season. I was about to buy a house. It was Aww, thrilled. I was doing Third terrible. Rock from the Sun and Jesse at the same time. And uh, didn't have Marta cough me and it called me and was like, it's not going to happen. I was like, fuck you. No, I didn't yep. say that. Um, you but, said, we'll work together. No, but yeah. you know what? And I was like, did. I'm going to be People as successful one. as I can so yeah. that she, sure. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, That really gave me some yeah. oomph behind yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Can I ask a random question? Yeah. Because we were, we were talking about this in another one of the episodes. Gigi McCreary wrote the hat song, right? No. Who, who wrote the who hat wrote song? Who wrote the hat song? The hat song. Because I know, I, I remember very specific, like, sp- Specifically, mm-hmm. talking's hard. It's good I'm on a podcast. <laughs> um, no, uh, going into the writer's bungalow yep. at stage four. Yep. And you saying like, hey, our writer's assistant. Eve. I, Eve, Eve, thank you. We say cannot- it. I said our writer's assistant wrote this song. Wrote this song. Yes. So she wrote the lyrics too? She wrote the lyrics to that song. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He, Eve, if you're listening, there Delaney, you go. Didn't you Peter just run Marietta. into her? I ran into her yeah. quite a while ago, actually. Did she, she tell you that she did? She said... I wrote that song, yeah. and I was like, "Fuck you!" She did. You know, and she and did. that's she actually uh, had a like a, uh, a simulated pilot where you would wear the thing, and yeah, she, she was doing a lot of VR stuff. Yes, VR oh, yeah. exactly. Oh, okay. And uh, I was yeah. like, "You should get credit." I love that. I love, you yeah, yeah that. I remember. I remember. No, because yeah. literally, because I was, I was like, "Okay, Gigi," because I remember it being like a like an all female thing. Like I remember like the, like. I remember going in and being like, oh, that's so cool. They came yeah. up with the song and the dance. So yeah. that's why I associated it with yeah, Gigi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, yeah. Yeah, No, no, it was Eve. Eve. It was Eve. Eve. It was Eve. It was I just Eve like, I, I feel so bad. I couldn't remember her name. It was Eve Weston. But that's because I'm Gigi terrible. Gigi McCrary names. can't write a song. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. It's <laughs> uh, totally fair. There's so many moments and things that I'm watching in the sure. show and I just see you, man. I see yeah, you go, oh, there's Peter, there's Peter, it. there's, there's Peter. so much fun. You know, The moments I hope you're thinking about are these times. The that funny I, parts. But I just loved like <laughs> getting the take we needed and then going to Victor like, hey, I have a couple things I want to try. Yeah. Right, and then running into the set and saying like, all right, don't drink that. Stand over there, yeah. say this. Yeah. And, and little things like. There's what? one episode yeah. and I don't know which it is. There's an episode where I had enough alts that I wanted to do mm-hmm. that Victor just said, you know what? Just lay down behind that couch. <laughs> really? And I laid down behind the couch and I just kept yelling the alts up as we shot. Yeah. I can't remember which episode. I wish That's I really wish you funny. could. Because now I just see your, like, your socks and your sneakers. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. On the other side of the couch. Yes, <laughs> yes. It was so fun. There was one, uh, it's so, there's two things I want to say. There's, it's so little, but it meant so much to me that we were just sitting on the couch. And I've talked so many times about people on sitcoms just enter and stand yeah. in their place. It's like, that's bullshit. Where are you going? What are you doing? And there was a moment where Maria was on the couch. We were waiting. She was reading the paper and I was knitting. Knitting. Yeah, I remember <laughs> and that. And there's like a sticker book yes. or something from yes. Wizards and yes. it's me knitting. knitting. I know, remember that? <laughs> yeah. I remember that. That was a conversation we had. Like, what do you want to be doing? Uh, knitting, yeah. knitting, of course. Of course. Um, and then there was a, a moment and, and I think it was at WizTech 
Okay. And my favorite is uh, if if people are uh, not wanting to be overheard in a sitcom, mm-hmm. if you take four steps to the left and lean in, then the person next to you can't right. hear you, That's which right. is so That's funny. Right. And and Selena, I don't know, there was some competition going on, and she was it's always two, a competition two feet That's over, right. and she this. goes. Okay, what I've got to do is go down there and get Justin to do this. And then I was like, Peter, what? I'm, she's standing there. How about, correct me if I'm wrong, I said, how about I say, are you talking to yourself or whatever I right, said? I right, was right. like, who are you talking right. to? You're talking to yourself. She was like, no, I'm not. And then later you added, she was saying like a line where you, you're, you're talking to yourself, like, I'm going to go, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know, it's like sitcom, you yep. talk out yep. loud. And then she said, I am talking to myself. That's right. I'm no, so that was the proud thing. Of like, myself. Yes. It was, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was. I, we were always either in on the joke, or we like made fun of ourselves, or made fun of the trope. For sure, which right. I loved. For yes, sure. that was always important. To have a Disney yes. show that didn't just go, we're a Disney show. That we're was gonna, important. Always trying to elevate above that. There were some was, times that I was. There was only a couple times I was really embarrassed. Like well, I was very embarrassed about about it being too Disney. Yes. Disney, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a couple of times specifically, like I got pushed to have some big finish to um, the episode where uh, Dean Moriarty and she race a car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, so we created off screen that there was a giant contest going on in the infield of the racetrack to build the biggest sloppy Joe. Yeah. And then we had them run into it, and then we just had them throw stuff on the windshield. Right. But you wanted to go inside. No, no. Oh. I didn't want any of it. Oh. Yeah. I didn't want any of it, but they were pushing me to do something, and so I did that. And I guess to my mind, it was like, well, I don't want them to have to get messy. Yeah. So we'll have it thrown on the car windshield. And mm. that's. But I was like, I didn't want to do that. That yeah, that's fair. Times. Well, and we had done that so much already in the first season with like the chocolate fountain episode and like, yeah. you know, the the Gert Barn. We'd already yeah. done like the food yeah. fight, yeah. get a messy. Like, let's move on. That was a big thing they wanted more they, of for yeah, me. And I was they like, love mm. that. I'm yeah. going to ask you a question, sure. but I'm going to tell Jennifer what I think the answer is. Okay. Are you going to do the sitcom thing where you step aside? I am doing it. No, exactly. Okay. 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 Wait, listen. Peter, don't listen. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite episode? You have to pick one. I have to pick one? Yeah. Yeah. I've just no, told Jen actually, what I think it is. You think that's everyone's favorite episode. Stop it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, uh, I want to like, pick one. I know, but just, okay, just three. for the top no, 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 three. Top, Can I do top three? Well, say one of your top he, three. He wants it to be this say. one episode. He wants to be everyone's favorite. Okay. But well, Wizards versus Vampires. Uh, okay. That's no, good. It's that's no one's not, favorite. That's not but the he one. wants okay. it to be Okay. Or Shakira. Okay. All right, you got one more strike. Or, <laughs> or, I'm gonna say I don't know the title. Oh, it's the one where. Oh shit! I so weird. Up. Okay, but no, go ahead. it's the one where. Um, Let the man have his favorites. It's the one where um, Alex and Harper. It's the end of the Stevie arc. Oh, okay. And it's where Harper gets to sort of read it, read Alex out. I'm like. I'm always there for you, mm-hmm. and you're. Is doing this through the window? Right. Yes. Yeah. Through the window. That yeah. scene with the two of you. I love that. That's scene. That's some good stuff. I love that scene. What too. was the episode you thought? He thinks everyone's favorite is Family Game Night. Oh, yeah. that's what I thought you were gonna say. Yeah, I did love Family Game yeah. Night because yeah. there's a lot of hurt feelings. No, so, no so he literally Selena was like, oh, because we were like, you should come in and we should watch another episode. And she's like, oh yeah, I already know which episode. And he goes, it's Family Game Night. And what like, was hers? Everyone's what was the one she liked? Family Game. She hasn't told us yet. Okay, so, so next episode. Back in. So um, Family Game Night was great. Yeah, but but um, but because of hurt feelings. Yeah. Um, which is the episode that ended? Now I have favorite quotes from the episodes. There's an episode that ends with you oh, saying, Lord. "Let's do a group hug." And Alex is like, why? Like, angry, why? <laughs> and you yell at her because that's what normal people do. <laughs> and it's just yelly while it's happening, yeah. which I like. There's which is exactly one. what the show was. Yeah, for there, sure. There was for dysfunctional sure. love. For sure. So we have, to, we have to ask, and we've been talking about asking you this. Yeah. So for, for those at home, for the folks at home, uh, I just feel so lame when I said that. Um, I know. I know, Because right? you use folks. Folks, yeah. That's weird. I mean, it's better than y'all, which is my it like. It is. <laughs> Thanks swear. to non-binary pronouns. It works. Y'all 
This is making its way out of Texas into the it's, world. Anyway. I know. It, t- it took its boots around the world. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, what I was going to say, so for the folks at home, uh, Peter was with us from seasons one through three. Yep. And then Gone. he got tired of fighting the mouse. No, they got tired they of, got tired of fight- fighting the I mouse. Mean, yeah. I was not invited back to finish the yeah. show. Yeah. Um, and Which so the fourth was season. Bullshit. So if you if you guys are curious, why the third season, the one through three have a certain tone, and the fourth is very different. Mm-hmm. Um, that is why, and we were all very sad, and we all missed that tone. So for the fourth season, how would you have ended the show? Oh, mm-hmm. that's an interesting question. And, and if I may, yes, I just want to say it was the show changed, and it was yeah, it, it became one hundred percent. I don't want to discredit the 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 people that worked on the show or and what our we did creative protector had left but the show you know? became a different show sure. it became a totally different show after winning two emmys yes disney yeah. decided to part ways with you which yes. was Wait. bullshit okay oh. so jen is asking the question that i'm dying to know yeah okay. well we both are yeah okay so how would you have so it's um it's uh uh it's something i thought a lot about and i think the way that i have to be fair to everybody is um, to say that I had, previous to being asked not to be involved, when I was having meetings with Disney Channel, we had just wrapped the movie. Mm -hmm. Um, The movie was out, and we were shooting the third season, and I had gone over to the tower um, to talk to them. That 21st floor, man. Yeah, 21st floor. The conversations had started about, like, well, next year will be the last year, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and I had said, "Well, I, I, uh, I, I think uh, execs had started to say, well, you know, and we're thinking about how we want to end it.'" And I had said, "Well, no, I'm, I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna end it." And they were like, "You'll get a voice in there, but it will not yeah. be your choice." Yeah, Disney loves to be told things. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, but I had already started to think about it, and what I wanted to do, and by the way. Wouldn't it be great because I've never seen one minute. What if I pitch this and it's exactly what happened? (laughs) It'd be great. I promise you. It'd be great. There's no way. So what I I wanted to do is kind of go back to the origins and the underpinnings of the show. And I wanted to not disrespect, you know, the audience. And and, um, obviously in a show that we started off as an ensemble and that we all felt as an ensemble. Yeah. Um, and that Disney and the world took and, you know, and Selena blew up, right? And um, so it's obvious that, that they would want her to win. And I thought people would be expecting that. And so what I was hoping that the fourth season would be about would be the building of her and uh, Mason's relationship, whatever the dysfunction that was existent in that. Because I think when I finished, my last episode with them was he was off in the woods and he'd been bitten by um, yeah. Juliet and he was going to maybe die or whatever, mm-hmm. was to have him come back and have them kind of be good for each other and like fix each other and start to show like what a relationship that works that way. Like she can become a little more selfless yeah. and that would be going on while we're getting close to the end. And then I wanted her to win, but give it up. Because she's in love with a yeah. person who's not a wizard, just like her dad. Exactly. And I wanted a moment with her That's dad beautiful. where it's like, you, I, I'm for you doing this because love is love and you should do it. And so then um, David would get it. And that's cool because that's what David always that's what wanted. He always wanted. That's yeah. what he always wanted. And then the big, the big pullout that would have been really fun to do is I wanted to pull out of that and then I wanted to have um harper whether it's you or rachel dratch but i wanted i wanted harper reading that story to kids in a bed Mm. and be like that's it because that was that person that had written all those stories right so i feel like that was a real piece of my heart to those characters that that's a much more than what ended up happening that's a much more sentimental full circle Thing, which makes sense because you were the, with us from the beginning that you would be able to tie those loose ends and put those together versus, you know, trying to appease what Disney thought should happen and have this big contest. And I, I think they tried to add spectacle rather than heart, which was never what the show was about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Are you, Are you crying? crying again? Oh, <laughs> I just wish we had that done that. That would have been fun. Because right? that would have been. It's beautiful. It would have been really fun. 
Well, here, I'm sorry. Me... I, I, you know what? No, I'm just. I, I sat on a tack. No, that's why I'm crying. I, I no. love that you cried. That's I, awesome. I that's great. That, that was it. That's beautiful. Yeah, it would have been fun. It's it's it would have been being fun. selfless. It's it's yeah. repeating the history. Yeah. It's it just is. That's what it, that's what should have happened. Yeah. yeah. I've been waiting my whole life to hear no, you say no. what the fuck, <laughs> what the end of the show is going to be. <laughs> And now uh, you're now it was, it was a good payoff. Uh, thank here. you. It's yeah. a great payoff. Magic I'm glad you. somebody liked it. No, no it was be- it's, that's beautiful. It's so, just so you don't have to answer this. Yeah. Um, but I can't believe I cried. Kind about of pay- that. No, I, it's, it's, I love it. I'm sorry, I'm dead inside. It's, it's lovely. No, that no, you're- this is why I like and Jennifer. It's the <laughs> she's dead inside, like I am. If you don't think I'm driving home, and I'm like, uh, I fucking made him cry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but, like that's exactly a for Alex. That's exactly. <laughs> What should have happened? It would have been great. Yeah. Yes. It would have been yeah. great. Uh. But but also to everyone we've spoken to has, and then I'm going to ask you this question. Everyone we've spoken to has talked about how the ensemble was what made mm-hmm. the show great and the group yeah. of people and the collaboration is what made the show great. And I think that was the element that was missing in the fourth season yeah. that we couldn't hold on to because Disney like inserted themselves a lot. I know why I cried. Because I just found out how the show ended. Your yes, no, oh. that's you know right. I mean? Right, right. That's what. Because that's what mind. happens when you go to a table read for the last episode of a show. Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's really. Sweet. God, I wish I had feelings. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> it just, I wish the ER hadn't sucked them all. It out. just is, you know. And that's listen. That's the. That's the business. It it, it is yeah, the business. It is the business. You know? It is the business. Like it we were happens. talking and about. And Peter's doing just fine. Kim. <laughs> doing just fine. He's everybody. doing just fine. He ain't home uh, crying about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Um, but no, my question for you yeah. is: If the show came back, if the show came that's, back, that is everybody's question. Right? Sure, sure, doing a reboot, sure. What would it be? Sure. And I've always, sure. I always tell people, like, we got to have the right story. It's been this long. Right. Jen has so, a great idea. And you don't the... have to. You don't have to say because I know you get paid the big bucks for this. Sure, sure, sure. So you don't want to give away your bag, but sure. How would you bring it back? Oh, reboot? that's interesting. Well, if you are comfortable with uh, yeah, talking yeah. about that, if, yeah, if yeah, I, mean, I am if, because if I don't want to say talk to ever... my agent. Go for no, it. No, I don't know that know. they would ever. They should have me back, but they I would should. say it would have to but, be. But if I may interrupt you, yeah. they have already inquired already, right? They've they've come to you and said about other Disney things. About other Disney things, right? So that doesn't mean the door is closed, right? Yeah, but it's a, there's a little bit of like, hey. You maybe, know, maybe, they, but it, it, there's I a think, little redemption, is what sure, I'm saying. Sure, and I'm going, sure, sure. Well, Peter, we, 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 you know, who, who knows? Who yeah. knows? Yeah. You okay. know. I'm well, okay. I have a question back. Is yeah. everyone going to do it yes. in this theory? In, in this theory, everyone's going to do it. Everyone gets except the, Maria. No, I'm no, kidding. No, except no, Jake. No, no, I'm kidding. No, stop. <laughs> everyone. Yes. Everyone. Well, if if we end the show the way I just said, yeah. So we're talking pure theory. Then I think you'd want to check in with everybody and see where they're at. Yeah. And I think an interesting arc in that world um, is that Alex Rousseau is married to a werewolf Mm -hmm. and Justin is married to a vampire. And I would imagine they have children. And I would Mm -hmm. imagine those children need training of some sort yeah. but nothing like the training that they got because they are biracial which is yeah. my whole thing so like or, that would be by species by species, by species. Yeah. Yeah. so like yeah. to me that's a very interesting place to start the sure. conversation yeah about because then you create a different version of family and you don't rely so much on nostalgia mm. um because it will be there no matter what, yeah. but you instead push forward with stories that you want to tell. And as it's going on, you have moments that are going to sync up and be sure. sort of poetic with everyone. But I think this times I've seen all these reboots, the ones that I think work are the ones that press onward. Yeah, no. go, go I, into. I, I, that's yeah. a great point. That's a great point about pressing yeah. onward to the, giving something to the newer generation. Am I in the show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we wave by Jerry's grave and then yeah. we Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's great. You're a yeah. motivational speaker. Oh, God. Uh, I just well, made that. That's funny. Ah! I played a motivational speaker in this show. That You're not I, one in real on. life? No. No. <laughs> but uh, in the show we just shot over the summer, the creator of the show, um, when we were shooting it, was like, would you do this part? And I was like... and. 
it, to be fair, well, you like, really acted in it. You to, did. To be it? fair, he asked a bunch of different people on the writing staff to do different things mm-hmm. on the show, and I was like not interested. And then would you do this part? Not interested. And then there's this one part <laughs> that was like um, it had it was audio only, and it was like a character in the show has a motivational speaker that he subscribes to and loves. Yeah. And there was a scene where we had to hear it. And so then he asked me, I go, audio? I'm in. And he goes, oh, he's quick. And I go, yeah, because I will be established in the universe. And then you can't ask me. Again. again. <laughs> smart. Smart. Very smart. Um, uh, go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, you know, it's like, when did you know you wanted to be an actor? Sure. When did you want, know that you wanted to create television shows? Or when oh, did you well, know you wanted, wanted to write be. stories? When all did that I happen? I ever wanted to be was a baseball coach and an English teacher. This is all I ever wanted to be. And I You'd be a hell of an English teacher. I would be so much fun. The whole syllabus oh. would be burned books. Oh my god, it'd be all good. It'd <laughs> yeah. be all good. Um I I uh I started writing in college. I had a teacher um I know both of you've heard this story, but I'm going to say it again. I had a, a professor um give me a paperback and said see me in my office. And this is back in the old days when they gave papers back and they wrote on them. And um, I went to her office and I was petrified. And she's like, this was hilarious. And it was a paper on existentialism. And she goes, this is hilarious. And I go, great. So what's my grade? And she goes, you don't have any footnotes. You have a thesis. Like, this is a mess. And I'm like, okay. So maybe so B. So B. Right? It's pretty funny. She said, I'm going to make you do it again. But I want you to meet this sketch group that performs on campus every week a couple of them in my another class of mine and they need writers Come so on. i started writing sketches and then um second city touring company came yeah. to tucson i was about to say i was like i knew second city was and they place. were there and it began pre-internet days like i was just doing this with friends you know one hour a week and then you know i saw at the big auditorium with thousand people i'm like wait a minute wait a minute they're though they are they're getting paid <laughs> Right? And I was like, oh, okay. So then I moved to Chicago and I got into Second City. And when I was in Second City, I knew, even though I was in it as an actor, that I was way more interested in writing. Mm. So when I've I got heard to that LA, from a lot of people where, that do yeah. sketch comedy or improv, yeah. it's like there's always some that are more on camera, more, yeah. they want to be more the acting side. And then there's some that are like, I just want to yeah. write. Right. This Alan is, Arkin you know. um, came to visit um, the theater once uh, when I was there. And at the end of the night, after the improv set, he was talking to some actors, and he said that um, he was a Second City actor. Was he really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Way back, yeah. And he said, I've made a career out of three characters that I learned at Second City. Um, The annoying guy, (laughs) the angry guy, and the angry annoyed guy. (laughs) Now that you say that, I can really picture him. Yeah. And so, like, you know, and I was surrounded by people that were so good. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm just going to write. I just want to write. So that's that's yeah. kind of it. Yeah. That's no, what started who, it all. Who are your, because uh, we've asked, you know, like who are sure. some of your comedy. Like, comedy idols? Comedy idols. Legends? Yeah. yeah. And then who are some of the people that you were like inspired by to add to the show, if anybody, like if there were any like. To pair, add to the. Well, yeah, that influenced. Influenced like, you the and then also that the put you into. Oh, that gave okay. You, gave you. Uh, well. Well, no, but yeah. Um, <laughs> well, no, no, no. Let's start. The answer is. No, no, influ- influences first. We'll start influences there. first. Yeah. Um, growing up, I was allowed to stay up to watch The Tonight Show past my bedtime Yeah. if Richard Pryor or George Carlin mm. or Steve Martin were on. Oh, Steve Martin's, oh my and God. And like, I think it's amazing that um, uh, uh, Selena's getting to work with him. Yeah. Right? And uh, I've been in a restaurant n- near him. So I think we both. Did, have... you, did you not go and say nope. hello? You didn't say no, anything. You don't no, do that. No. I don't do that. I don't, I feel you. But anyway, mind. um. So those are big influences on me. SCTV, yeah, giant yes. influence on me. Oh and then God. I would say one of my one of my crowning achievements, one of my heart moments is I loved a show in college that I watched all the time called Friendwood Tonight and America Tonight. Mm-hmm. They were spinoffs of a show called Mary Hartman and Mary Hartman. They starred Martin Mull and Fred Willard. Mm. And when I was at Second City, I met Fred Willard and Fred... And his wife, Mary, when I got to L.A., they adopted Elise and I. Mm. Fred and Mary are the godparents of Joaquin, my oldest. We spent every 4th of July, every Christmas with them. 
They're both gone now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Fred um, was not only in our show, but he did maybe one of the most solid favors that anyone's ever done for me. Yeah, we talked about this. Did you? Yeah. yeah we talked Richard about this. Richard Lewis. Yeah. And disappeared. Just, well, I got called. Right. Tell, tell us. Okay, I got called to set by Victor. You might want to come down. It was early morning. You might want to come down here. Richard Lewis is having a problem. And I'm like, is it a problem with like lines or wardrobe or what is it? He goes, the whole thing. <laughs> problem with the whole thing. And I go, okay. Is the network here yet? And he goes, no, they're about a half hour out. And I was like, okay. So I went down and Richard Lewis is like, I can't do this. And I guess, I guess he was embarrassed to be on the kids show. I don't know what it was, but he was having a meltdown. And as, as he yeah. always does. Right? And so I was having to think quick and we were shooting and the network was coming. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, all right, well, um, I got the producer and I said, what do we have to do insurance wise? And I was like, they told me and I said, okay, so Richard, you go to your dressing room and sit there because you can't leave the lot till I've ironed this out. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, you're not going to be in the show, but you're going to sit in the dressing room until I figure this out. And then I, then, then I had all these eyes looking at me and I was like, I'll be right back. And I walked around the flat and I called Fred who lived probably 35 minutes away in Sherman Oaks. And it was early morning and Mary answered the phone. And I was like, is Fred there? And she's like, he's in the shower. He just went for a swim. And I was like, can he work today and play the character that he played? And she's like, when do you need him there? And I was like, like now, like this crazy crisis is happening. Yeah. And she goes, he'll be there. Ugh. And so I hung up and I walked around and I said, that's the deal. Yeah. I got to go upstairs. I got to rewrite those pages, but we'll go and we'll be fine. And he showed up. God and bless killed him. It and killed yeah, it. Yeah, he did. He killed it. He was amazing. He I didn't miss it. a beat. And he was such a shield to me. Like after I got um, uh, fired mm-hmm. or let go or option not renewed, whatever, whatever way, whatever they you want to say it. Yeah. Disney. Um, at the next um, <laughs> Emmys, Mary and Fred, when I got nominated, because it was so stressful to have to sit yeah. with people. Of course. Yeah. And um, Mary and Fred, because Fred was up that year for guest artist. And he and Mary, Mary is the one that took care of it. She's like, your parents are going to come and Fred and I and Joaquin and and she's the one other person. She goes, and that's the table. And I will make sure that that's the table. Oh, wow. yeah. So like I knew when we were in that auditorium we that it, when it was over, whatever happened, I did not have to uh, be around them. And then when, when I won, it was great. And that was for the, the, the movie. movie. That yeah. was for the movie. What a class act. Like, it was fun. But, but, yeah, he was amazing. An amazing man. He's an amazing yeah. man. And he was my favorite. I, I chose him as my yeah, favorite, favorite guest. guest yeah? Yeah. yeah. He yeah, he probably would be mine. He was yeah. a, he a probably rock star. Man. Can, can I tell the movie story real quick? Sure. Okay, so we did the movie in Puerto Rico. Well, there was a, 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 a thing that I did with my wife where it said, where did the movie take place? Do you know? No. See, I didn't know either. It was, I was a mystical like, island that Disney didn't want to. Like, we couldn't name it. Right. No. But it said in the like the quiz thing, it was like the Caribbean. You know yeah. what I mean? But it, it was, was like, Porto like whatever. So go. we all Porto went to. Port away. Port away. Yeah. yeah. We went, and I have already said this on the podcast that they, whoever it was, I don't know exactly, wrote a movie that was not our show, that the voices of all the characters were completely scrambled and different, and it wasn't there. And then you went in and made it funny and fixed it. And, and With you, a lot of help from Michael Healy. Okay, yeah. there you He's go. A great guy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Nicest guy. Great guy. I, I've only met him a few times, great but guy. he was great. So we all go there. Took me to Morton's the day I got fired. Well, there you go. That's a classy Called firing. Yeah. Look at that. Called me. He's like, hey, you want to go to Morton's? I was like, yeah, let's do yeah. it. That's good. So wow. anyway. There, there are guy. some good people yeah. in this business. Yeah. So we were there, and we were in, uh, uh, it was one of the scenes in the hotel room, and there's a lot of people when you're making a movie. And when you make a movie, there's a lot of people uh, around the camera. So we were movie. rehearsing, and... The director, I don't know if I say his name, everybody can go don't look, about it. whatever, <laughs> was like, uh, let's, uh, let's cure, clear the room, clear, clear clear the the room. room. which means the important people stay. Everybody left. You went into the corner. corner out of the we way. We were here, and the director looked at you, and whatever he said, clear the room clear to the you. Room. He made it clear that you should that I should get out. And then I was like... <laughs> Fuck, man. Peter shouldn't go because he's the one. Him. He's the creator of this. Like, what do you mean leave the room? You yeah, know? he saved us from your bullshit. I had other problems. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So 
Correct me if I'm wrong. You left the room. You went down to the car. You went to the hotel. <laughs> you story. left the hotel. You got on a plane and went back to L.A. <laughs> right? So good. I don't know. I don't know that I went all the way back to L.A. I think I got stopped at the airport. Okay. But right. still. Well, in my mind, you were back yeah, in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be you honest, just went. You were like, I'll leave the room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. There Bold. were times Beautiful. in the room. Now, that was to make a point. <laughs> yeah. But there were times in the writer's room where we, you knew if you dared me, it was over. Like, I remember um, a day where I might have been Matt Goldman said something when we got back from a rewrite. Who was one of the writers? One of the great writers. Yeah. yeah. And he said something about like, um, there's no way it was silly. Like there's no way you could get to blankety blank and bath in enough time. And I was like, All right. And I drove, I got it down and they watched me get in my car. And then uh and then when I was driving, someone called me. And by the way, I don't know why this is, but every time there's like a responsible voice in the writer's room in my mind it's You're Gigi like, is uh, calling me that's uh, fair. it's like somebody called me on the phone that's and was fair. like you have the script with all the notes of the things you <laughs> want changed in this thing right and like what's going on where are you yeah. and I remember I was at um Beverly and um and I was at Beverly and uh uh Sycamore over by like yeah. Fairfax and La Brea mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I turned right and I Threw the script out the window oh my God. onto a front yard. And I yelled at Gigi. I'm like, it's 619 Sycamore in the front yard. Oh, wow. I'm going to make it still. And I oh kept going. God. And like later, they were like, we sent someone to get the script. And it all worked out. But Gigi was like, what if the sprinklers had gone on? What if somebody had driven by and picked it up? And I was like, but they didn't. All, it all I remember worked out. is that you would get this like devilish grin. And whenever you were like, okay. It yeah. was lethal. It was like yes, whatever that's the right, thing, like right. it was always just like that's right. Because right. well, we would do, oh, and I know what it was we were doing. Because when Bob Berlinger would direct, um, and and anyone was invited, it wasn't just Bob and me. But when we would um have dinner, we'd eat dinner quick mm-hmm. on show night, and then Bob and I would get in my car, and we'd drive west until Bob and I were like, I think if we turn around now. We'll make it, <laughs> oh and we would do it. I and was we never like, invited to this, but I don't think yeah. you guys wanted a fifteen. Oh no, no, because you guys were in makeup. Like I just yeah. meant anyone could come. Yeah, but the risk was you don't. You make might it. not make it. And yeah. I, I worked with Bob on Third Rock Third from Rock, the Sun, yeah. and and yes, I directed an episode. I didn't Thank say you anything. Said. But Bob is the one who was like, I was doing camera blocking. I was doing yep. all the stuff. I was learning yep. from Victor and everything. Yep. And Bob let me. Yeah, uh, like organize yeah. one of the yeah. scenes. And Bob yeah. is like that. And yeah. all of our directors were yeah. back then. Yeah. You know? That's so funny. There were people that directed our show because they wanted to hang out. We were really right? fun to hang out with. Because we got, we got, um, um, uh, Big Bang. Mark Sandrowski. Yeah, we got Mark Sandrowski. For so many on, his week, on his week off of, of, of Big Bang. Amazing. Because he yeah. wanted to hang out. Yeah. Cool. Listen, All right, we, what's, we, what's we, we have I a want you to, Yeah, but I want to. I want to say, will you come back and do more? Because sure. there's there's yeah. a lot more that we need to talk about. Sure. Okay, hundred right. percent. Okay, you oh, do. I don't want to do. Yeah, you don't want to do it. Okay, okay right, there. You press it. You um, love it. I did. I pressed it. There we go. Oh so my god. Throw it out. Let me see what it is. It's the wizard's reboot question. Oh okay. There, Jen. There you go. That's upside down. All right. Was there a scene you found challenging to film? If so, what was it? I'm sure there were many. But what was one in particular that comes to your mind? I guess it, it doesn't have to be the most challenging. It just has to yeah, be yeah, challenging. Yeah, 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 It was with him, right? Of course. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, I thought the challenge is a good question. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to choose to answer by challenge the, the most um, difficult to execute. Okay, I like that. Right, the most difficult to execute. And I think that um, that that scene that's in that, wizards vampire thing i don't know the name of the episode yeah where there's the castle versus and we fly juliet down on a wire and then we've got to turn him into a wolf and then he's got to run away yeah like all that and it was super interesting to me because then we had this emotional punch at the end of it with with david and selena and i i think that was the most challenging because i think when we were doing it and it was a pre-tape day. Mm-hmm. You couldn't do that in front of an no, audience. It was too many but I remember parts. Victor and I talking about like 
all the elements of that and feeling like, are we in too far? <laughs> you know, like that was a lot, but yeah. we did it, but that was really challenging. And then the other one, just as a joke, there was a kid whose job it was, do not remember this kid's name. It was back in the Waverly Street and his job yeah. was to do Taekwondo. He was a small child. Yeah. It was on his resume that he could do Taekwondo. Oh, no. And we got after. there and he started and I he was like, he couldn't do it. Oh. It would he didn't know anything about it. <laughs> and I had like two boys in Taekwondo in my house and I was like, Do I have to go get people? Do I have to get a child? Do I have to mine? get one of my children to do this? It, it was terrible. Oh I think we just cut the bit. Yeah. But yeah. I was like that that's, was a bummer. Yeah, that's why you don't lie in your don't resume. Don't lie in your resume. Yeah. Because when they when they say <clears throat> if you say you can horseback ride, there's I gonna can be really a horse. Ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so can I, so can I, just for the record. Uh, Let's um, do one more and then we'll Yeah, go. okay. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh if, I, I after you break this it. this did you buy this? Jen, yeah, Jen got, got that. That's nice. Got Where'd it. you get it's, it? It's Amazon. Nice. Just just giving Jeff Bezos money. He needs good, it. Good, good, good. In honor you hate of this the, question. No, I'm going to ask it. We can ask another one. You we can. Hate in this honor question. of I'm going to take Waverly two more questions. This one and one more. What's the your sandwich of choice? That's a good question. It's a good. It's a Colbert yeah. question. The other question. You know, Colbert asked. Yeah. That. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I stole it from him. I'll admit it. Um. No, but you. The other day, you hated this question. It's the okay, but I like prosciutto the gonna... and mozzarella sandwich. <laughs> okay. On a baguette from Larchmont. Wine and cheese. There okay, you go. All right. Best sandwiches in Los Angeles. M mine is the Bay City, the 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 Godmother. Have you not uh -huh. had that? Yeah, Have yeah, yeah, that? yeah. That's good. Here, Jen. Oh, you thank go. you, hon. We're all, he's only Peter's, doing one more. Peter said he'd do one more. <laughs> what is a storyline you'd like to have explored? Oh shit! Which, oh, Jesus. Like one of the easy, there you easy, go. easy, easy, easy. Um, I wished we could have played more with what was quite obvious to a lot of us was the relationship between Stevie and Alex. Right. Right. But we weren't been, yeah, we weren't able in that time to yet. in that time. Yeah. Well, it was, but it was pretty clear to all of us what that relationship was. Yeah. And that would have been fun. Right. Yeah. Oh, that would have been if that we were just really a fun. few years down the line, we maybe could have played yeah. with that. But yeah, now, that been nowadays good. that could happen. Yeah. Right? yeah, they did it. I mean, Disney Channel has yeah. had characters and they did it. At that been. time, it wasn't a thing. No, we couldn't. Yeah. But we got that. as close as we could to. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty close. Yes, yeah. <laughs> pretty right there. It was pretty much no, right there. No, I love there. that answer. That would have been great. That would have been great. Well, Peter, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks the show. for letting yeah. me come. Well, well, not just coming on this show, but thank you for making Wizards what it was, yeah. and we really appreciate. I will say what I love about it and what you're saying. I'm going to cheat around over here. <laughs> Can you throw a graphic up over here yeah. if you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I, I want to just say this, though, because you've been very kind and very nice. Um, but to me... I was an asshole. <laughs> it was you. To me, you've been the biggest monster that I've ever worked with. Don't um, look at me. No, you... It always meant so much to me when we, when we would call it our show, or we. Mm -hmm. And I know that I would say... Not always, but I remember backstage sometimes, like when they would say, well, we're not going to give you money to do a new credit sequence because the kids are gigantically older. <laughs> and, and, and they'd say, well, we don't have money for it. And I was yeah. like, that's cool because we're a gang. We're not really a show. Yeah. So I love that about us. And I think that um, that time is very special to me, you know? And, um, and I, uh, I don't regret it. No, I, 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 I'm glad to hear you say that because I know it didn't end on the most positive note. And, and what's... On my birthday. What? I, that's right. It did. The oh, my God. The last taping oh. of the last episode of the season three was my birthday. Wow. And there's a picture of me with a cake. And I know. I've known for yeah. weeks that and, I'm going to get it. None of us knew. And nobody knew. None right. of us knew. And there's knew. a picture with all of you and me and cake and that's Joaquin. awful. And if you look at it, you look at my eyes, it's just like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, what um, a mind yeah, fuck. Yeah, it was crazy. And I'm sure that day too, like, I always wondered, there's like, I, I, I think you, Jen, I think David Henry, and I think Selena, like, you know, and I don't want to have a hashtag me too moment, but I remember mm -hmm. after the rap, I was like, I hugged you probably a beat too long, and I was like, they know. 
No, we had they know. We had no idea. Because I was like, all right, I'll see y'all. See you soon. Yeah. And that was it. Because I remember coming back and feeling gypped. Yeah. I felt really like just like, yeah. you know, cheated. Yeah. You know, and, but and it was a birthday I'll never forget. Yeah. And yeah. and all, all prior to that, we, we got to experience the magic. I, I don't yeah, mean yeah, to yeah, say yeah, that, yeah. but I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really don't mean was, to be a yeah. huge cheese ball. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, but, it, yeah. but, but yeah, yeah. I'm happy that you've yeah. come full circle where you For don't sure. present that. Because sure. you would absolutely have every right to. Sure. So I'm glad that it still holds. Because I'm doing real place. good. And you'll come back. And you'll Just come so back, you know, right? I'll come back. Mickey. Okay. All right. Good. I'll come back. We love we'll you. We'll go because I know you're very busy. Love you. Go to your thing. I have to we go. It's just to go home to Eliza. Yeah, I will. <laughs> it's not you that give, busy. Give her a big hug. I for will. Us. I will. I love Eliza. I will. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Wizards of Waverly Pod. And if you want to watch clips from the pod, then go to Podco YouTube channel. The link is in the description. Oh, and if you want to join our Patreon, the link is in the description for that too. You get exclusive weekly bonus content. All right, see you next week.